here today with Luke Carroll. Luke's 11 years old. And he's one of our star football players in Mountain Brook, and we want to make sure he plays safe. So we've got the hutch trap here, and I want to show you how to install it. It's very easy. If you can do arts and crafts, you can do this. We start out with the, with our hutch trap. We've already got a couple of adhesive pieces of Velcro uh, on the hutch trap, and we have a couple of extra pieces for you. We'll just put those to the side, and we've got an instruction sheet that you can look at uh, and refer to while you're installing. So the first thing we wanna do is take off the adhesive Velcro. We're gonna pull the back, we're gonna pull the back of it off. We'll put it right up there just above where the logo is on the helmet. Then we're going to take the other piece of adhesive velcro, we'll pull the back off, and we're going to put it as high up on the rear shell of the shoulder pads as we can, but where, where we still get a lot of contact surface. And then we're going to put the hutch strap on and connect the hutch strap with a safety release clasp. Luke has free free range of motion. Luke, turn your head side to side like you're saying no. As you can as you can see, the hut strap stays clasped. So Luke, can you see the top of your toes? Perfect. So we'll we've got it adjusted perfectly. Now now Luke, let's lower your head like you're making contact with the top of your head. As you can all see, when Luke lowered his head beyond the acceptable range the hut strap unclasped. Luke can hear it and he can feel it. And he knows that he has used improper technique. We're gonna train him so that he knows incorrect behavior from correct behavior. Again, correct behavior, keeping the head up, the hut strap stays clasped. Incorrect behavior, the hut strap declasped, and Luke knows that and has awareness of his head position. 